Good morning and welcome to another episode of Digestible Snacks. This is where I bring you breaking news from the business world. Uh, Every day we have uh, this information and there's a full series. If you click above my head, it'll take you to the full series and you can check them all out. But in the next few minutes, you're going to learn some amazing facts about the finance world and uh, the business world. Let's get straight into it. The information is provided by Robinhood and Sherwood. Thank you very much indeed. So let's get straight into it. Last night, the Dow Jones closed up 0.11, the S&P 0.38, the Nasdaq 0.54 and Bitcoin was down 1.63. Let's get straight into the snack right now. Hey, snackers, if you've dreamed of playing a full nine inning uh, baseball game in your Airbnb without the cleaning fee, a Florida minor league stadium is now available for $5.1 thousand dollars a night. Sign me up. I'm all up for it. Who, who doesn't want to stay at a stadium? Uh, it sleeps 10 and includes access to the 5,000 seat stadium, a fully furnished clubhouse and a hairdryer. Don't forget the hairdryer. If I'm paying five grand a night, you've got to throw in a hairdryer. It's the least you could do. It's the least you could do. I'll leave a good review. Uh, stocks rose for a fourth straight day after o- uh, uh, underwhelming economic data. U.S. companies added the fewest jobs in five months and second quarter GDP was revised slightly lower. Investors celebrated the bad news, hoping might sway the Fed to end rate hikes. That's what I am betting on. That's what I believe is about to happen. Deficit. A nationwide Adderall shortage uh, could get worse as students head back to school. No refills. As students who took a summer break from Adderall uh, return to pharmacies for their back to school refills, a nationwide shortage of ADHD meds could get even worse. Adderalls have been in short supply for 10 months, with 97% of pharmacists saying in a survey they don't have enough. Adderall alternatives are also stretched thin. In July, the FDA added more ADHD meds to its short shortage list, including two kinds of Vivance. In a rare team up, the FDA and DEA recently issued a joint letter urging manufacturers to boost their ADHD med production. Rising Adderall demand is spotlighting the supply deficit. Manufacturers churned out 1 billion fewer doses of amphetamine meds, which include ADHD meds. Um, th- than they have, uh, th- than they were approved to make last year. They also fell behind government quotas in 2021 and 2020. Meanwhile, U.S. Adderall prescriptions jumped more than 10 percent from 2020 to 2021. That's partially been attributed to the uh, the pandemic era rise of telehealth services like c- Cerebral, uh, which was under investigation after former employees claimed it's, it prescribed patients. Adderall and Ritalin without proper screenings. Widespread, Cerebral's um, just one of several telehealth startups that have contributed to concerns that ADHD meds are being overprescribed. Please note, doctors say demand is also up because more people are becoming aware of ADHD and studies found some groups are still underdiagnosed. What is the takeaway from all of this? Meeting med demand is complicated. It's not your typical supply demand relationship. Manufacturers have to get certain approvals to ramp up production of ADHD drugs. But even with approval, plants that often operate at capacity may have to make less of one drug in order to make more of another. The confidential nature of the DEA regulated drugs also makes it hard to know why shortages occur. Roll. Food delivery robots expand, but like self-driving cars, they're having growing pains. Four-wheeled Wall-E. You, uh, Wally, remember him? <laughs> you may have seen them rolling up next to you on a, on a crosswalk. Uh, food delivery robots. The metal boxes often come with uh, uh, cutesy googly eyes and have taken over sidewalks in cities like Los Angeles. Delivery bot company Starship recently said that its rovers will be, it will be on 50 university campuses this fall, up from 30 last year. Starship said it now has 2,000 bots plus operating in over half of US states. Other bot companies are expanding too. 
Have you seen all these uh, terrible people when they see these bots? There's people that uh, steal from them, knock them over. It's just awful, isn't it? We're trying to provide a service, a business opportunity, a way to save money, a way to bring people things that you couldn't get before. And there's always these uh, sort of parasites running around, stealing from it, knocking it over. Why does uh, Why do these people exist? I don't know. If you're one of those people, stop doing it. You're absolutely a waste of space. We don't like people like that. Be respectful of people's property. Uh, Coco, which kicked off in Los Angeles, has expanded to Austin. It's first city outside of CA, uh, California, with resto partners like Tuk Tuk Thai and Avatar Pizza. Serve Robotics said it's grown to service uh, 200 plus LA uh, restaurants since entering, since entering the city's delivery market last year. For your information, uh, Serve was spun out from Uber owned Postmates. Uber Eats partnered with uh, Serve in May and together they plan to deploy 2,000 more bots as it expands beyond LA. NVIDIA was also a Serve investor. But the bumps in the road, here it comes. The bot spread hasn't been smooth. Rovers have been attacked, robbed and vandalized in Los Angeles. That's what I was talking about a few moments ago. Isn't it awful? Isn't it awful that people do this? Uh, viral videos show people kicking the bots and stealing food from the inside. Starship said its robots will try to maneuver around people who block them or p politely ask them to move. But there have also been incidents of the rovers themselves causing issues like blocking sidewalk access or casually rolling through LA crime scenes. <laughs> Just want to picture the scene. Just want to picture the scene. You've got some guy, he's got his gun out and he's, he's got the bank. He's holding up the bank. Give me your money. He's got the bank, right? He's got his eye. He's like, give me the money. He's, he's you know, doing the bank. And a long, a long, ro a long row, long comes Rover with his pizza and says, uh, here, here is your pizza, sir. Would you like to open the box and remove my contents? Hang on a minute. I'm robbing a bank here. Can you believe it? This is the world we live in, folks. The takeaway from all of this, it's man versus machine. The rise of delivery bots uh, coincides with recent efforts uh, in cities like New York City, San Francisco, Francisco and, and Minneapolis to provide better wages and protection for gig workers like minimum wages for delivery drivers. Uh, gig apps like Uber, DoorDash, Grubhub may embrace delivery bots and autonomous cars in an effort to lower labor costs. Uber has already teamed up with robo taxi company Waymo to offer self driving rides. The only thing is it's all very well and good, all these bots and stuff and, and all the rest of it, but it's going to put people out of work, isn't it? It's always the end result of it all, isn't it? What else are we snacking? Uh, Sip, shares of Jack Daniels, parent Brown Foreman, fell after it reported a dip in whiskey sales, but its uh, um, El Jamador Tequila brand grew 27%, even as Americans, especially Gen Z, cut back on booze. I have to say, I was at Total Wine the other day, and I had a little taster of some tequila. I was quite surprised. And did you know it's all natural ingredients? It's very nice. I tried it. And by the way, they don't they don't put the worm in it anymore. That's just a thing that happened years and years ago. Very interesting though. Go and try a little tequila. You might enjoy it. So I was quite surprised. I thought it'd be like really, whoa, but it was actually quite nice. It was a bit like a a bit like a brandy or a cognac. It's quite nice. Stack. Lego had its worst profit drop in uh, nearly two decades. A demand slip for the blocky toy icon. Remember that? In, in, uh, when I was a kid, uh, people were taking their kids to, to the hospital for putting um, bits of Lego inside the wrong places of their body. Yep, that happened when you were a kid. Uh, that, that was a thing. I don't know if it was in like a thing in America, but it was a thing in England. Don't know what that's got to do. I don't know what that's got to do with it being English, but I'm telling you, uh, uh, a lot of kids have been taken to hospital because they put little bricks in places they shouldn't. And uh, I don't know what it is about kids playing with brick, with little Lego blocks, but uh, that, was a, that was quite a thing back in the 80s. Uh, um, for some reason. Anyway, new Lego's hoping to add to its movie franchise following the huge success of Mattel's Barbie movie. We covered that on a, on a recent uh, Digestible Snacks. I wonder, Apple's expected to unveil its iPhone 15 and more Apple Watches at a special event on September the 12th. It's hoping new gadgets will revive demand as hardware sales slip. Um, looking forward to that. My, my Apple shares could go up 
Track private rail railroad uh, bright line is taking on Amtrak with tr- with trains that reach 125 mile an hour. Its Orlando station slated to open next month will be the first will be the U.S. first non Amtrak passenger route between two metro areas in 40 years. Uh, uh, Is that Ake or Akashé? Never really know. Uh, Then we're going to go with Ake. Post-it parent 3M uh, agreed to pay uh, $6 billion to to settle a suit claiming its earplugs failed to prevent prevent hearing loss. 3M could pay another $10.3 billion to settle a suit over uh, forever chemicals contamination. All right, my favourite part of the whole thing, the snack of the day. The snack of the day today, many pumpkin spice flavored treats don't contain pumpkin. Well, isn't that a surprise? Uh, Through Starbucks PSL. Those, Those Starbucks PSL does. There we go. Pumpkin spice flavored treats don't contain pumpkin. Those Starbucks want to make sure that theirs does. Uh, That's wonderful. Good. I'm glad to hear it. There we go. Another digestible snacks. Join us every morning for our digestible snacks. Later on, this will be edited down into a full production movie with maybe some polls and interesting things thrown in as well. So do check it out later when it premieres this afternoon uh, with all exciting content added. Click above my head for more wonderful content like this your opportunity to win $204 We've got some great links above my head in the information some people go I can't find the link above your head depending on what your device is above my head you'll see a little card or a little eye if you don't you click on the cogs of the video and you'll find more information from the uh, creator and then you look below and it'll point you to a whole host of links that I uh, introduce you to with my finger above my head Go over here for the full playlist and you can check out all our recent ones. We've got some funny ones yesterday we were reporting about adult only. Yeah, the Mile High Club just got a boost. The Mile High Club was uh, was uh, on, our, on our digestible news yesterday. Until next time, as always, take care of yourselves and each other. <laughs>